Mga kabayan, inyo po bang nabalitaan nitong mga nakaraang araw? Nagkaroon po ng ransomware attack sa PhilHealth. Aba, hindi lamang po limitado sa tao ngayon ang nire-ransom. Kung hindi, pati na rin po ang system ng ating gobyerno. Atin pong alamin ang balita tungkol rito. Hi mga travelers at kabayan, welcome to another episode of Jamie Aries Talk TV kung saan atin pong pag-uusapan ang balita para sa'yo. Ka- kayo po'y aking inaanyayahan na mag-subscribe na po sa ating channel. Click nyo na po yung notification bell at subscribe button nang sa gayon you'll get updated every time may bago po tayong mga videos about travel, lifestyle, career, business at buhay OFW. Mga kabayan, naku, hindi lamang po pala mayayamang. individual ang niraransom kung hindi, pati na rin po ang mga system sa ating gobyerno na po, ano na po bang nangyari sa ransom where attack sa field health. Ating alamin po ang detalye mula sa GMA Network at Inquirer.net of Information and Communications Technology 300,000 US Dollars o 17 million pesos ang ransom demand ng Medusa Group na nasa likod umano ng cyber attack Pero sagot ng PhilHealth, Definitely po, hindi po tayo magbabayad ng ransom. Nag-upload ang grupo sa dark web ng mga nanakaw umuno nitong impormasyon ng dokumento. Ipinakita ito sa amin ng isang cybersecurity expert na nakatutok sa kaso. May countdown pa. May walong araw na lang daw ang PhilHealth na magbayad ng ransom. Kung hindi, ay ilalabas daw nito sa publiko ang mga nanakaw na impormasyon. 10,000 US dollars o higit kalahating milyong piso ang hinihingi sa kada isang araw na extension ng deadline. Parang proof of life nga, din sinasabi natin na parang may proof of data kami. Kasi hindi mo naman makuha itong mga data in memos na to kung saan eh. Kasi internal documents. Hmm. Kapag nalik ang mga sensitibong impormasyon ng mga PhilHealth member, nandyan daw ang pangarib na magamit ito sa mga illegal na gawain gaya ng fraudulent claims. of Information and Communications Technology. 300,000 US Dollars o 17 million pesos ang ransom demand ng Karagdagan, Our general PhilHealth uh, membership data were not affected. So, just for sure, it was not affected. What's affected are the workstations of each employees. So, when the member goes to the PhilHealth office, the member can access the data But as to payment, uh, the member is directed to our accredited collecting bank. So the payment still continues. Our general PhilHealth uh, membership data were not affected. So just for sure, it was not affected. What's affected are the workstations of each employees. So when the member goes to the PhilHealth office, The member can access the data, but as to payment, uh, the member is directed to our accredited collecting UNTV, bank. So the payment still continues. Can explain po our na ating representative uh, mula data, sa PhilHealth na hindi daw po so kasama o sure, hindi daw po affected. na atake ang the members data pero more on employees database lamang daw po. So when the Yan member goes to the kanilang panayam mula sa of of our TV. first um, investigation, here uh, we see that our uh, All databases which contain our membership data, our um, financial data, our claims data are all intact. And so we are saying that uh, there is no leak with regard to personal identification information and even to medical in, uh, information were compromised uh, during this incident. However, um, there are... workstations uh, wherein the computers of our uh, employees were actually involved or hacked and uh, i think uh, some of the data that were uh, um, gotten by these hackers were coming from this that's why uh, in some of those uh, data being shown uh, like id personal id of our um, personal uh, employee employees are being shown and so uh, We are actually uh, providing a notice to the public that in cases that um, there are 
um, information that will be shown or that will be linked out uh, to please inform us already so that we can do something about it. So the... During our first um, investment na nagkaroon ng gap yung sa ating uh, protection and we feel na during that period yun yung inexploit ng ano ng hacker um, pero we already uh, sta um, the, the procurement is on the way is already under uh, gone uh, post qualification so um, it will be installed na no na nagkaroon ng gap yung sa ating uh, protection and we feel na uh, during that period yun yung inexploit ng ano ng hacker um, pero we already uh, uh, the, the Phil procurement Health, on, on the way is already under uh, gone the uh, post qualification so um, it will be installed na no na nagkaroon ng gap yung sa ating uh, protection as per the interview na, sa UNTV po ng ating representative um, from PhilHealth. So, uh, um, mga the, the kabayan, even way, po sa ating mga personal under, laptop and uh, computers, uh, just make it a so, point that you um, renew your antivirus be because again, na, no? you have to ensure that your personal computers must be protected and looking forward sabi po nila uh, they are working on it um, nang sa gayon po ay hindi uh, makompromise um, ang on the mga data ng mga members so as of now po katulad ng narinig nyo po um, sa panayam sa representative from PhilHealth no? as of now personal data lang daw po ang nakompromise na based po sa kanilang interview at wala naman daw po na members um, information na nakompromise uh, pero just in case uh, may possible under, uh, na nalit daw po just kind of so, inform them and um, hoping that wala talaga pero just in case na, no? they are asking na, na tayo po ay magbigay alam bilang publiko sa kanila that, so that, that they can immediately address it. So mga kabayan looking forward po na ma-resolve na ang ransomware attack sa PhilHealth system at Hoping wala na pong sumunod sa mga sistema po ng ating gobyerno or other systems that are, of course, uh, kumbaga handled by different sectors of our government ng Sagayon. No data, no information, especially of the members, will be compromised. So with that mga kabayan, balitaan ko na lang po kayo kung meron po tayong other updates about this. But for the meantime... Ito pong latest update po natin regarding PhilHealth ransom attack. If you find this video helpful and informative, please click like and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. Follow nyo na rin po tayo sa FB at TikTok account. So mga kabayan, laging pagkatandaan saan man po tayong dako ng mundo, taas noo tayo yung mga Filipino. May God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Have a pleasant flight sa lahat po ng mga lilipad, pabakasyon, or pabalik na po sa inyong mga trabaho. See you everyone!